USGS detects hundreds of earthquakes in Yellowstone Park. Steamboat geyser eruption sparks great fear. Yellowstone National Park has once again become the focus of scientific attention and public concern after the United States Geological Survey. USGS detected hundreds of earthquakes in the park within just a few days. According to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, more than 200 small to moderate earthquakes were recorded, with the majority clustered near the Norris Geyser Basin, the home of the powerful steamboat geyser. This sudden burst of seismic activity has left many visitors and locals on edge. Park rangers reported the tremors were strong enough to be felt in some areas, causing ground vibrations that rattled windows and created rumbling sounds across the thermal basin. The fear intensified when steamboat geyser erupted with tremendous force, spewing boiling water and steam nearly 300 feet into the air, covering the surrounding boardwalk with hot mist. Scientists explain that earthquake swarms are common in Yellowstone, often caused by shifts in the underground hydrothermal systems or by the gradual movement of faults beneath the surface. However, the combination of a major earthquake swarm and a powerful geyser eruption has sparked renewed fear among the public, with many wondering if these are signs of increased volcanic unrest. USGS volcanologists quickly issued statements to calm public anxiety, emphasizing that there is no indication of magma movement towards the surface. These swarms occur frequently and are part of Yellowstone's normal background activity. However, we continue to monitor the situation closely for any signs of escalation including ground deformation, changes in gas emissions, or long period earthquakes that could signal an intrusive event. Despite these reassurances, the steamboat geyser eruption remains significant. Known as the tallest active geyser in the world, steamboat's eruptions are unpredictable and can last from a few minutes to over an hour. This recent eruption, coinciding with the quake swarm, sent fear rippling through visitors who witnessed the ground shaking and steam roaring into the sky simultaneously. Many describe the scene as both terrifying and awe-inspiring. Meanwhile in Hawaii, Kaklaui volcano erupts again. While Yellowstone experiences its seismic awakening, Hawaii's Kaklaui volcano continues its persistent eruptive phase. On June 11, 2025, Kaklaui entered its 25th eruption episode since December last year, as lava fountains burst from the crater floor of Halima Yumayu. Volcanologists on site reported spectacular lava fountains reaching heights of over 330 feet, 100 meters, illuminating the night sky in vivid orange and red hues. The intense heat from the eruption created glowing steam clouds as molten lava met crater rainwater. While the smell of sulfur dioxide and the presence of Pell's hair glass like volcanic threads carried by the winder-minded resonance of the hazards that accompany these fiery displays. Earlier in May, Kaklaui shocked scientists with lava jets soaring nearly 1,000 feet into the air, a phenomenon not seen in over 40 years.
experts describe the current eruptive activity as similar to the 1983 to 1986 PUAA eruption episodes, though all lava remains confined within the summit crater. No communities are under direct threat, but air quality warnings remain in place due to high sulfur dioxide emissions and fog spreading across parts of the Big Island. USGS has maintained a volcano alert level of orange, indicating ongoing eruption with minor ash hazard. Scientists are monitoring closely for any changes, especially since Kaklaoya's plumbing system can evolve rapidly, leading to fissure eruptions if magma pressure increases along the east rift zone. The global perspective dot the simultaneous. Events in Yellowstone and Hawaii serve as powerful reminders of Earth's ever-changing geology. While Yellowstone's earthquake swarm and steamboat geyser eruption have raised fears of a potential supervolcano awakening. Scientists reiterate that the current data shows no signs of imminent eruption. Died in contrast, Kaklaoya continues its natural cycle of eruption, building new lava layers within its summit crater, shaping Hawaii's landscape in a dramatic but expected manner. For now, both locations remain under close scientific observation, ensuring any signs of escalation are detected early to protect residents, visitors, and infrastructure. Yellowstone's tremors and geyser eruptions remain part of its dynamic hydrothermal character. Run, run, run. Run. While Kaklaoya's molten fountains light up Hawaii's sky in a mesmerizing yet dangerous display, the Earth beneath us is alive, and these iconic volcanoes continue to remind us of its restless power.